That was mad. Good, like, honestly, what would I have done if I hadn't had this huge fucking gun? Like, this is a big boy gun. Big boy gun for big men. If I didn't have this, that would have been absolute massacre, I believe. Hello, can I? Thank you. Huh, new board game? Hello, medical drone. Fix this. Uh, oh, give over. I'm not going to hurt you. Oh, who's shooting at me now? A dead man? Cool. Good thing we had a ton of ammo because we're burning through it here. This looks fancy schmancy. I know there's a um a terminal that I like unlocked and didn't read, but I'm not sure where that is exactly. What does this link around to? Oh, was it down here? Was the terminal down here? Or something? Maybe not. Don't know where that goes. Where was that terminal, man? Oh, was it in here, perhaps? No. What do you think you're doing? Persuade. I was just leaving. Uh, why are we back to, uh, <laughs> why are we back to being able to use that? Unsure. And where was that friggin' terminal that I unlocked and did not read? It wasn't this one, was it? No, we did read that one. Damn it. Hey! Stop that! Incoming! Well, I don't remember. Which is mucho unfortunate, unless it was... No, nope, that's a lift. Oh, look at all of these. It's crazy, man. Crazy stuff. I'm not in combat game. Come on. Stop it. Okay, are we good? Welcome to the human experimentation experimentation station of the Ministry Mini of Accuracy and Morale. Human testing is a required step of any new product or process in order to ensure accuracy. Please be sure to document the results of all tests thoroughly to save the expense of additional trials. Uh, view lab notes. The addition of dimethyl sulfoxide to the current round of tests has resulted in some improvements. Subjects are showing improved circulation and increased neural activity. However, our formula is still missing something. We're still unable to fully revive subjects from long-term hibernation, and removing their supply of dimethyl sulfoxide results in their rather excruciating death. The problem is compounded when we consider reviving and freezing subjects multiple times over their lives. To make matters worse, we've had a hard time securing additional dimethyl sulfoxide. We may have to make do with this batch. And then I can't return to root. I just have to back out. Okay. Transfer dimethyl sulfoxide to canister. This procedure may result in the invalidation of experiment results and the death of human test subjects. Further information. Sudden withdrawal from dimethyl sulfoxide, sulfoxide is highly lethal and will result in the cancellation of any in-progress experiments. Experimental integrity and test subject vi vitality can be maintained by leaving a 73% concentration in circulation. Details. To repeatedly revive human subjects from extended hibernation without causing the death of the human subject and the loss of associated productivity. Results inconclusive, prognosis cautiously optimistic. Um, I don't think that the corporations should really have access to this kind of thing. Because A, it doesn't seem like they're even going to get it to work. And B, it seems like something they would abuse if they did have it. So, 
Sorry, test subjects. You're gonna die. We're transferring 100% so that they can't keep doing it from now on. The, the current test subjects that are about to die are the sacrifice for the greater good. We're using the utilitarian outlook on life here. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Okay. Oh, shit. I am very sorry. Oof. Steel full dimethyl sulfoxide canister. Yummy, yummy. And then return to, uh, what's his face, I guess? Phineas, yeah. Hopefully Ferb will be there with it. I've made that joke before. Stop reusing jokes, me. You dummy. Come up with new ones. You can't just help yourself to whatever you want. Uh, what in do you fact, think you're doing? in fact, I can. Here they come. Gonna get in of Interrogation you. failed. Defeat the enemies and your shroud disguise will recharge. Here's the thing. All the enemies are dead game. These scientist pricks, they're not enemies. They are mere inconveniences on my path to... The greater fucking. Oh, hello. Down they go. Hope you were having a good sit. Dum, 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 dum. It's a big one. Can't wait for it to be fucking useless stuff inside. Don't know what I expected. Oh, that's a lot of. A lot, lot of ammo, though. Very nice. Oh, my goodness. A lot, a lot of ammo. Hello. 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 Hmm. Did I do that one? Yeah. Very nice. Is, is nice. As they say. Um. Oh, was it you? Note, all subjects have perished after undergoing multiple hibernation cycles. Yeah, basically, all bad times. I think we did the right thing, denying them access to further, uh, the ability to do further experiments. Seems like it would have gone just really, really bad for people. Oh, it was this one. Here we are. A few lab notes. Uh... I've tried replicating the work Dr. Wells initially did on the revivifying formula. Oh. But his notes are basically unintelligible. It may take a few iterations. Phineas used to work here. Now that's interesting. Te tetraborate ethanol, not toasted dinner roll. Maybe it is toasted dinner roll. Powers that be are demanding results. I'm submitting my, my catalogue of dead sprats. Didn't realise it was possible to run out of sprats. Which genius left the new shipment of sprats in the kitchen? Still attempting to complete Wells' formula. Still going through a dozen sprats a week got a lot of work ahead of us if this is ever going to be effective at reviving people from long-term hibernation. Very interesting. Hey! Stop that! What do you think you're doing? Your mom, huh? They got the drop on us. They didn't get the drop on us, my dude. If anything, we got the drop on them. Please! I don't want to Let's find out where this goes then, shall we? Ding, ding, ch, ding, ding, ding. Elevator music. Ding, ding, ch, ding, ding, ding. Elevator music. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, that was when we came in? Oh, okay. I didn't think it was, but sure. I'll take your word for it, game. Hello, people. Sorry about all the death. We'll be going now. Okay. Uh, what is, what is our objective right now? Ret oh, right, return to Phineas, yeah. Cool. Plan your next move. Uh, oh, right, so I can totally just fast travel it, right? You cannot fast travel while near hostiles. Where are the hostiles then? There's no one on my radar. Really? How about now? I guess everyone's fucking hostile. Incoming. Correct assumption. Not bad, huh? 
Not bad. Are we really? I don't want to murder my way out the city. I'd feel a little bit bad. These guys haven't done anything wrong themselves. They just serve the corporations that suck. That's not their fault. Oh, sorry, wealthy citizen. That is my bad. Thankfully, you didn't die. So, you know what? We'll call it even. I think it's only fair. I'm saving you here. Saving you from a life of cruelty and hardship, you know? You just gotta work with me. Every little thing's gonna be alright. Okay, coming through. Coming through, ladies. It's the saviour of Byzantium. Hello. No autographs. Don't bring me down. I'm having such a good time. Oh, well, you know what? If you insist. Hello. Luxury munitions. We haven't been in there. We should... We should check that place out, I think. Really? Winston Forsyth, you're a, I don't wanna I don't wanna kill an NPC. Maybe if we just leave they won't be hostile to us later. Which way's the way out? Up here? I really don't wanna kill a named NPC. Because he, maybe he has a quest for us or something. Oh no, Pavati's dead. Okay, no, she's back, but she doesn't uh, doesn't teleport to the elevator. There she is. Take your best shot, asshole. Oh, fuck's sake. Uh, okay, camera. Camera plus. Weird. Surprise! Do 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 do. Dum 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 dum. Right up Main Street. What? What's in the box? Fuck me! What's in the box? Fuck me! Great work. Why? Thank you. Okay. Our informant's not still here, is she? Oh, she is. You got anything new to say about like our current situation or anything? Pretend we're strangers. The board's always watching. Okay. Well. What a highly successful mission where we didn't get spotted one single time. Let's go back inside. Honey, I'm home. Captain, Felix and the vicar are arguing again. Oh. I swear, next time we put in the groundbreaker, I'm going to do it. I'm going to ask her over. Yes, do it. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm having trouble focusing on my work. Well, as long as you don't get us killed. Okay, so what's her thing updated to then? Talk to Pavar. Oh. Doc at the Groundbreaker. Okay. We will be sure to do that. Anything new from you? Hey, Cap. Hey. Bye. Guarantee Sam will have nothing to say. What about you? Good to see you, boss. I wish I could say the same. If I still believed in the grand plan, a revelation like this would have seriously shaken my faith. Knowing you, I can only assume you have already begun formulating a plan to deal with this. So tell me, what are we going to do? What the fuck are you talking about, Max? Uh, We'll have to dig more into the issue and sort it all out. Yes, of course. And when you do, 
you can count on me to back your play. I'm very glad to hear that, but you'll be your sat here. to get out of tight situations virtually undetected hasn't failed us so far. Undetected? Anything you'd like to discuss? Yes. Like how I didn't get detected in Byzantium. As I snuck through with my sneaky skills. Let's head to the lab, I guess. I... You have a message from adjutant Sophia Akande. Fuck, she was saying something. It looks quite the same in person as they do in my reports. And my reports of you have been exceptionally thorough. You've had quite a career. Uh, let's skip the pleasantries. Got your attention. I'm just getting started. I'm just getting started. I'm glad to hear that. This may come as a surprise, but I happen to enjoy your work. Oh. I've been keeping up with you ever since Emerald Vale. Now that was an interesting piece of work. A rundown backwater, barely worth the ink on a map. Until you showed up. When you cut off power to Edgewater, you saved me a great deal of trouble. Now I don't have to bother trying to save that town. Huh. All this happened because some mysterious stranger fell out of the sky. I get it. You're well informed. Can we move this along? <laughs> you almost sound like you approve. Not always. For the longest time, I could never be sure if you were on our side or against us. I'm, I'm definitely against you. You should be back on the hope frozen in a hibernation chamber. Yet here you are, flying about in a stolen ship, leaving a trail of paperwork in your wake. The board doesn't know what to make of you. But I do. I've seen your potential. There's so much we can do for this colony. The board actually does know what to make of me. The board are angry currently. Uh, How do you know I'm from the Hope? We raised security on the Hope after Wells broke in. As for discovering the identity of the missing colonist, all we had to do was scan the passenger manifest. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, you wanted to talk to me? Make your offer. You have something I want. I'd like to negotiate. Is that thing Wells? Uh, how did you find my ship? There's exactly one vessel in all of Byzantium that looks like it dropped out of an Aetherwave drama. Phineas Wells is wanted by the board. I want to convince you to turn him in to us. Mm, it's going to be a no. Say no more, I'm in. <laughs> uh, wanted for what exactly? He has a litany of charges against him. Vandalism, illegal experimentation, sedition. I could go on. Wells is a dangerous madman. His plan is going to endanger everyone in Halcyon. He's an obsessive psychopath. And he's using you. You're in contact with Wells. I want you to send us a tracing signal from his communication terminal. You want me to sell him out? I never liked the guy anyway. Not for free. Hold on. Getting a lot of noise in the signal. Can you fuck off and never call back? Um, not for free. I'm curious how much she'd offer. Well. You want me to sell him out? Wells was our mistake. We failed to apprehend him for years. I'm asking you to help me correct that mistake. I'm sending you my access code. Contact me from Wells' terminal. When you're done, come speak to me in my office. Adjutant Akande's call has been terminated. Will there be anything else, Captain? Yeah, I'd like to hear what you were going to say when she spoke. Literally, as I walked in, you were going to say something. If you don't mind my saying, Captain, Minister Clark is lucky to have you on his side. I mean, I'm not sure I'd go that far on his side. <laughs> You got an upgrade, Felix? Uh, what one were we doing for people? That one. Um, well, that kind of blows because now I'm going to have a quest that I never finish. Because I'm not going to turn him in. So, that kind of sucks. There's no way to abandon it. Hmm. 
Hello, Phineas. Yeah, I'm definitely... We successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain. And we are still in one piece. Mm. Shall I congratulate myself? Or would you like to do the honors? <laughs> um... We're, we're a different side of it than before. That's cool. I'm pretty sure that's not the angle we saw before. Uh, right, let's see what he's got to say for himself then. Uh, sure, you two will do. Okay. Phineus, Phineosa, Phineasica, Finelstrom, Fundabar. Myself busy in your absence, optimized my formula. I'm now confident I can revive the remaining colonists. Yeah. All I need now is the dimethyl sulfoxide. I'll take as much as you can give me. Uh forget about the chemicals for a second. The colony is on the verge of collapse. I found your chemicals in the ministry. The board was testing them on human subjects. Human test subjects? Oh, that's grotesque. That's unthinkable. You that's liar. You were here, weren't you? Or there, rather? Uh, I had to let the test subjects die, but I brought back all the chemicals they had. Thank you. You've brought me enough chemicals to get started, at least. I'm just sorry they came at the cost of human lives. Those poor people, they must have died in agony. What exactly was the board trying to accomplish? Science 40. The board's trying to mitigate damage to human tissue during the revival process. You say the board's trying to freeze their subjects over and over again without inflicting permanent damage? Well, they're nowhere close to solving that problem. Something about this feels wrong. I don't know why the board would ever conduct such an experiment, unless they're working on some kind of hibernation technology. I'll tell you this much. The board scientists are hopelessly lost. After years of fruitless experimentation, they've made exactly zero progress. What makes you say that? I used to work for these people. I'm intimately familiar with the utter incompetence of the board's own scientists. Huh. So he admits that part. The colony's on the verge of collapse. The board's been trying to cover it up. I know. I've suspected as much for years. Of course, I don't expect the board to do a thing about it. They've been driving our colonies to the brink of destruction for decades. The board's mismanagement put our colony on the road to collapse. If we don't put a stop to them, thousands of colonists are going to die. Uh, the board's got a plan to save us. It gets worse. The chairman's planning on freezing every worker. Hold on. Let me see if I understand this correctly. You're saying that Halcyon's on the brink of total collapse? And the chairman's plan to save all of us is to save himself? I always knew Halcyon was heading toward a system's collapse, but I never imagined we were already there. The board made this crisis, and now they want to solve it by freezing the rest of us? Pretty much. That's not a plan. That's a goddamn escape clause. Do you realize what this means for the Hope? For your fellow colonists? The board's going to kill them all. Toss them out into space just to make room in their hibernation chambers. Hmm. We need to think about this. There has to be something we can do. We give up. The colony's a mess. We need to think about this. Short of lining up every member of the board and shooting them in the back of the head. That would be satisfying. Do you know what's waiting for us on the Hope? Scientists, engineers, artists... The brightest minds Earth ever sent us, uncorrupted by the board. The board's going to dispose of them all and transform the hope into a prison for the rest of us. They're likely on their way to the hope as we speak. We need to get to those colonists before the board. I have enough chemicals to start reviving a few of them, but no easy way to get them off the hope. There's a way. It's not exactly safe, but we could skip the hope into the system. across the distance of colony space right next to my lab the hope's probably damaged we'll have to root power from the unreliable yes yes exactly you're a 
step ahead of me, but I perceive the shape of your plan. If we link up the hope to the unreliable, then use your navigational computer to calculate a reasonably safe vector, we can skip the entire colony ship into the rings of Terra 2. I don't know much about skip drives, not the physics, anyhow. I do know the Hope's real massive. How is our bitty little ship supposed to skip it? Excellent question, my sharp-witted mechanic. You will use your own ship to power up the Hope's skip drive. Your navigational computer can handle the rest. You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then, head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope's skip drive. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. Wait, I've got some questions. Certainly. How can I help? Uh, should I expect any resistance? It wouldn't surprise me. When I pulled you out of the Hope, the board nearly intercepted me. I expect they stepped up security since my little act of larceny. Uh, just so we're clear, you know skip drives aren't supposed to be used like this? Skip drives were never designed to be used within a system, but I skipped my ship across Halcyon when I rescued you, and that turned out fine. Mostly. Mostly. That is, I ruined my ship and nearly killed myself in the process, but the maneuver was well within acceptable margins of risk. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. I'll just take your word for it. People aren't going to notice a gigantic colony sh ship slamming into the rings of Terra 2. Unlikely. The Hope is as massive as the Groundbreaker, but compared to the rings of Terra 2, positively minuscule. Fair enough. The board might notice, possibly, depending on the position of their heads relative to the depth of their collective posteriors. <laughs> <laughs> Savage. Okay, no more questions. I'm ready. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers, scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. If there's even the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from oblivion, then we have to take it. I'm still not sure what his ulterior motive is. The the adjutant asked me to plant a tracking sig signal in your lab, but I'm not going to do it. You absolutely should. Uh, what? You've got a plan of some sort? The adjutant must have sent you some kind of tracking code. If you don't use the code, she'll suspect you betrayed her. I think you should use the code and send a corrupted tracking signal. Well, that should buy me some time. Cool. Uh, you're sure you're okay with this? The enemy is bound to discover my hideout sooner or later. I'm prepared for that eventuality. This is just my way of buying myself a little time. Fair enough, man. <laughs> Use my communications terminal to corrupt the tracking signal. While the board busies themselves trying to decipher it, I'll have plenty of time to prepare my defenses. I wanted to talk about the hope. Certainly. How can I help? Oh, that's just those. Okay. Level 28. That was quick. Well, there's 100 hacking. Lovely. And let's uh, work on hitting persuasion 100. Whether we'll ever get there, not so sure. Right, uh, a lot of these were garbage now, weren't they? Did we care about any of these? Uh, I'm not sure. 50 carrying capacity? I guess? Uh, hmm. I guess that? I remember all the rest were rubbish, and I was like, I don't even know what I'm going to get next time. Okay, here we go. Here's a terminal. I almost clicked send tracking signal. Send corrupted tracking signal. Definitely that one. Yes. Running cacophony protocol. 
Cool, cool. Board surveillance protocol failed. Signal fidelity compromised. The terminal will attempt to establish a new connection once every cycle. Ah, oh, that should do it. You've bought me more than enough time. Cool. Okay. All right, all right, all right. What say you, Ada? What? Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. Okay. You have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. I'm impressed, Captain. I almost expected you wouldn't go through with it. Unfortunately, Dr. Wells found a way to corrupt the signal before we could pinpoint his location. Still, it's only a matter of time before we find him. You're welcome. Come visit me in Byzantium. We need to have a talk about the future of this colony. Okie doke. Wait, Ada said it was a message, not uh, not something I could respond to. How do I know this isn't a trap? Because I'm not in the business of arresting my own allies. You have my word. Oh good, I'm sure your word Meet is worth a lot. Meet me in my office. I've authorized your ship at my personal landing pad. Adjutant Akande has ended her call. Rather rudely, if I might say, considering she didn't sign off. <laughs> Will there be anything else, Captain? Uh, no, that's good for now. Well, okay. Thankfully, that was not a mission that we were unable to complete because we could complete it in a way where it didn't fuck Phineas. And I very much enjoy not fucking Phineas. Ha ha. So, good. Quite a lot done. Lots of Byzantium stuff. Explored more. Found the retirement plan stuff. And then, uh, got the, got the gas. And we now need to head to the Hope and also talk to this adjutant or whatever her name was and also a bunch of side quests so there's plenty more still to go which is very good because i will take Captain, as much more I of this dr wells has not dragged you into one of his irrational schemes again my diagnosis of his mental stability is not flattering ripperoni sending a corrupted tracking signal to the board was quite clever if i might say captain thank you came up with it myself um Yes, I'll take as much more of this game as I can get because it's awesome. So, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I, of course, hiccuped during the middle of that sentence. Very good. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you next time for more The Outer Worlds. Thanks for watching. See you then.